welcome to today's vlog guys. I'm going to be tackling the roof today because it's just uh, it's something that's been bugging me and I want to get it done. I've been thinking quite a lot about how to do it. There are loads of ways to do it. I mean you can just get one sheet of ply and just try and try and uh, fill the area but it doesn't quite fill. Okay so a, a, a one piece of ply in the UK that is is 2.4 meters or 2.44 meters long by 1.22 meters wide but in here it's 2.6 meters long by 1.36 wide so it's just too big a little bit too big um, so what I was planning on doing to make my life easier is to do it in three stages but like long strips so you go a 50 centimeter then 40 centimeter and then 50 centimeter across the top and that means that I can cut out around all the bits that I need to get cut out and it won't be too stressful to mount when I get to mounting on the roof. The only thing I'm going to have to worry about is down this end when I have to fill a small gap of around 10 to 20 centimetres. But that, you know, we'll, we'll get most of it done today. After a lot of measuring, refining, redoing, remeasuring, re-refining, I've finally got one of the pieces for the roof. I am no way going to advise you to do it this way because it's been extremely long-winded and complicated. So, please excuse some of these mistake holes. A few attempts there. But basically, I will give the dimensions of this, but what I'm doing is, I've got a series of holes here, 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 and then there, there, there and there and they will match up with the bolts I have coming out the top here and also the light that will be going there where the cable ends are hanging out of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up slot it over the bolts I've actually glued the bolts in place so they don't push up back up into the frame the amount of times I put it up there and the bolts push back up in there but we'll get past this. mental breakdown but I've actually worked out quite a good way to do this now instead of the previous way and it makes this a feasible plan the reason I've gone for this way is because I really like the way that the really like the way that the bolts look I like the industrial look so uh, you know that's just you know personal choice um, so what I did was where the holes were meant to be I drilled a 22 mil hole from 22 mm drill bit. Um, the washers are bigger than this, much bigger than this, so it doesn't matter the holes are way too big for the screws. Uh, and then, basically, managed to get it pinned up with the help of my lovely girlfriend, get the first one in place. The other one rested on the top of the headrest there. And then, once the two back ones were mold, uh, uh, two back ones were uh, mounted I 
used a long piece of, well, it's an old piece of flooring, to push up against the roof so you could get that extra couple of millimetres to get the screw on, the, the nut on. So, now we are cooking on gas. Good morning everyone, we are back again, it's a lovely new day and this week's been very good with us for weather. I'm utilising as much as I can while also juggling work because I'm not a famous YouTuber yet as much as I'd like to be. After yesterday when you saw me mount this piece, before that went up, I quickly grabbed it and uh, I had another piece the same size cut out in ply and I just quickly ran around it, used it as a template. And now, because of that, I've now got this piece, which is a lovely, clean new piece of plywood that is ready to go up. I would love to get it up right now, um, now that I've found out the easy way to do it, but I don't have enough M6 bolts. Thank you so much for all the support so far, it's, um, it's been great. Um, can't believe actually how many views I'm getting for these videos. I wanted to say... If there's anything that you'd like to see me do to the van, or something that you're interested in, post it in the comments below, and I might actually give it a go. There's still a few things that I need to get and buy and add to this. It's going to be quite a long project. Um, there's still so much to do, but quite a small amount of time to do it. So let me know sooner rather than later, and um, I can look at adding those to the future plans. 